Hi everyone, it's Charlotte here and today we're going to be doing a video all about my pet carrier. I'm doing this review of the Curva carrier and it's meant specifically for a cat but I thought it would be a great carrier for guinea pigs because of there are certain aspects of it that I think are really really good for guinea pigs in the fact that it has a covered bottom, a lot of ventilation, it's easily to clean and it's easy to carry as well and it's relatively lightweight and easy to store. So I'm going to go into all of those details but I just wanted to show you the overview of the cat carrier to start with. It is made of just plastic and you can get it either in a cream colour or a black and white colour. So I originally bought this on Amazon and I'm not entirely sure how much I paid for it but I will try and find the price for you. Hopefully they are still for sale but it has been two years so they might not be but since they are such a great carrier I would be surprised if they weren't. The price is I believe is relatively on the higher side for a carrier but I think it is worth it for the quality. I've had this for two years now and it has definitely lasted and is basically as new as I got it. So, so I'm now going to get into the details of the carrier. So the carrier has these handles on either side which just goes straight over the top of it if you can see and all you do to kind of like move this handle is press this button in and it moves the handle back and forth and you can have it to the front as well which I'll just show you now and when you get it into this position it will lock so once the buttons have come out it will lock into that position so you're safe to kind of hold the carrier like that and not worry about it kind of moving around or anything so it's now all locked in that position which is a really really good kind of feature of this carrier the carrier itself, as I've said before, is just made of plastic and it's a very, very thick, hard wearing plastic. It's got a rattan style to it and a texture on it, which makes it a lot more hard wearing as well. It is really quite thick. I'm trying to work out how thick it is, but probably say at least five mils thick. It's a good thickness on the actual main part of the carrier and it's easily wipeable as well being it plastic and it also provides a lot of ventilation. Along the top of the carrier we have these long kind of like rectangles which are open which allow more air and you can also see your animal inside which is a really really good thing and they go all the way to the back where there is a little area where you can unclip this and kind of put your hand in to comfort your animal or just give them some food or I don't know just kind of like to reassure them so that's just a little opening and obviously you wouldn't move your guinea pig through this opening because it's so so small so you'd want to use the front one but this is just nice to have if you don't want to open the big one and you're worried that they would jump out or something but generally guinea pigs don't really jump so since this is for a cat I imagine most people would use this one for your cat but I generally use the front one to even comfort them or anything so then it turns back and you can see where the band like clips in together and you can actually remove this completely this whole lid top part from the base but I've actually never really done that since I actually got it so I don't need to do that really so to open the front as well I'm going to put the handle down if I can do it with my one hand. There we go. I'm going to put this down and then there is a lock clasp at the front which I'm going to show you the details of now. So as said before at the front this is the lock clasp and it has the brand name Curva on it and again this is a really good heavy duty kind of lock clasp. At the moment it is locked so I'm going to unlock it by doing this and all you do and you just lift that up and then over and then you are able to open the carrier and then just to close it you just do this and push it down and then there and then it's completely sturdy held together and your animal cannot get out of that so it's a really really good easy lock that is very well made the quality of this carrier is like very very good it's the best carrier that I've ever had for cats or rabbits or guinea pigs or anything like that. We've normally had these standard like the pet transport carriers but um, 
like the cat, you know, the generic cat carriers, but I just find the quality isn't as good and also the access to them is really, really difficult. So I find for guinea pigs, this is a really, really good carrier. So once you've got the lock open, then all you need to do is literally just lift this up and it will end up being like that and it will just lean back on itself so you can kind of see the angle there. It just leans back nicely and it stays in a locked position unless you're going to use your force and it will come click out. So this won't ever like fall on your guinea pig, it will stay in that kind of locked position as you can see there, which is really, really good. So if you're getting them out and you're worried about it falling, then inside, this is the inside. I will probably put the measurements on the screen, especially if I can find them online, that would be very useful instead of me having to do it. But this is the inside of the carrier, and again, you can see that there is a rim where it is solid around the base, and also there are some windows just at the front here again. So your guinea pigs can see a bit, which isn't too bad for my guinea pigs because they generally face the kind of ways of the rattan bit. So again, here you can see that the rattan allows so much ventilation in and light, uh, but also keeps it nice and shaded for them. So they are a little bit scared. They're gonna have that kind of security of it that they can't really see a lot of what's going on, but there's still light there. So this is the base, obviously, as I've just showed you before. And I'm just gonna show you what I normally do when I transport them. So I put in just a waterproof lap pad. I generally fold this one in half because it's a little bit big. <laughs> And then I just push it down and then it's all nice for them to sit on and there's a good amount of room. I'm gonna get probably Arabella and pop her in and show you how big it is and everything. But if I was taking just one guinea pig, I would probably put a cuddle cup or something in there like this. And this is a cuddle cup that we got from Piggy Chic. And you can see that that probably takes up about half of the carrier inside. So you could have room for a water bowl or a little bit of hay or something else or some food. So for one guinea pig, it's a really, really good size and you could easily transport them for probably a good journey. But um, for three, obviously I've got three, um, I wouldn't suggest doing it for a really, really long journey if you've got more than probably two. But um, that's that. So I'm gonna go and get Arabella and probably pop her in and show you the size of her just on the lap pad. So Arabella is now in the carrier and you can kind of see the size of her in contrast to the actual size of the carrier. She is about 1000 grams normally, so she's about one kilo and she's a relatively big piggy, but also her hair does take up a bit of that space so it makes her look a lot bigger. So that is how she is on the carrier. She's, I think she, she doesn't, she thinks she's going to the vet, which is not what they like. So I'm gonna get her to turn around. Yeah, turn around so we can see you. Yeah. See? You're not happy. I think she's going to the vet, so that's why. Plus I did just kind of just wake her up, poor little thing. But yeah, that's how much she fits in. And normally if I was gonna put three of them, I would kind of, I'm just gonna move her. Sorry, honey. I'd put one there, then one there, and then one just at the end. So it's not the most room, but generally when they're in the vet carrier anyway, they like to snuggle up together, so they don't like to have too much space. It makes them feel a bit more secure, it being a smaller area, and that they can't really see much, so that's what I kind of do with them. So that is the Curva Carrier and what we use it for. I wouldn't recommend doing this for long distance journeys just because of the size of it, and this is not their permanent home, obviously. You can see in the background, that they are in a two by six cage and that is where they live permanently. So this is definitely not a thing that you should keep your guinea pig in. You need to keep them at the minimum required sizing and I do actually have a video on that in my importance of series. So I hope you enjoyed this video of kind of seeing what my pet carrier looks like and some recommendations that I can offer. But I'd love to hear about what your pet carriers are like and if you've actually got a bigger one because I potentially could well get them a bigger one just for long distance journeys if I ever needed to do that. So I would like to see some people's recommendations and yeah, so thank you very much for watching and I shall speak to you in my next one. Bye! I just had to show you Arabella Pancake because it's just too cute. I think she's forgiven me for uh, the vet, putting her in the vet box.
And you can see Daphne just behind. D Clara is in that Heidi. My fingers all blurred, but she's in that Heidi. Hey, do you forgive me, Arabella? Yeah, do you? 